Hi, in this lesson we are looking at reflecting a function in the axis. And uh, first of all, let's start by what do I mean by reflecting? Well, obviously reflecting, you can consider it as uh, looking at something in a mirror. But I think something that explains it a little better is if I consider any point, I just finish my axis. So if I consider any point, let's take this point. Consider that point and it will have a y-intercept here. That will be his y-intercept and it will have an x, well not y-intercept, I mean a y-coordinate and an x-coordinate right there. Okay, now imagine me taking like a stick and I fasten the stick to the point and I fasten the stick to the x-axis. And now I take this stick and I swing it all around to the other side. So now the stick goes this way. There we go. So the stick still has the same length. In other words, this length is the same as that length. And now the new point is there. And I see that the x uh, or the x coordinate is still exactly the same. It's still in the same place with regards to x, but the y in, uh, coordinate has changed. It now has a new y coordinate. What is that new coordinate? Well, of course, the distance is still the same from zero, so it has the same distance, but this time, instead of being a positive value, it is a negative value. Or if we started from here, and we went up, instead of being a negative value, it would be a positive. This is rotation, sorry, reflection. Man, but I'm getting it wrong today. Reflection in the x-axis. Because I am reflecting this point in reg with regards to the x-axis. Now, what that means is that the x-coordinate stays the same. So if I take any point x comma y and I reflect it in the x-axis, that means that the new point, the x-coordinate will stay exactly the same. But what will happen to the y-coordinate? The y-coordinate will become negative y. So what happens if I do this to a function? So let's just draw a new set of axes here. If I had my function here and let's say this is my function there's a function and now I reflect it let's do that in a pink now I reflect it which means this point will now go somewhere there that turning point there will come more or less there obviously this point's going nowhere okay neither is that point going anywhere that point will come more or less there and this point is staying right there and that point will go more or less there so that now if I reflect it in the x-axis it looks like this oh. sort of it looks like that okay so if this was the function y some fx and this new one is called gx what will the function formula for gf look like in terms of f of x? Well, we saw that all the y values get the opposite sign. In other words, if it used to be positive, it now becomes negative. If it used to be um, negative, it becomes positive. Which means all we need to do is multiply with a negative 1. All the y values, which this is the y, y values, get multiplied with negative 1. So it's negative f of x. And again we'll look at some examples just later, but this is reflection reflection in the x axis. Okay, what about reflection in the y axis? Well, same idea. That's my axis. There we go. There we go. Okay, and I have any point. Let's take that point. Imagine now I want to reflect it in the y axis. 
which means I take a stick and I fasten it to my point and I swing that stick all around to this side which means my stick still has the same length okay this the length of the stick didn't change only the position of the point is now different and this time I see oh but my y value is still the same I still have the same reading on my y axis but it's the x value that has changed so this used to the be the point x comma y now the new point is still y but the x has changed it's now negative x okay which means for the reflection in the the y axis I can write it like this. this is one way of writing a transformation reflect in the y-axis and then the new point is negative x comma y so the y coordinate stays the same and what will that do to a function what will that do to a function well if f is reflected if f is reflected onto G in the Y axis then what do we notice this time GX is still a function of F however instead of giving the y value which would have been f of x instead of giving the y value the negative we give the x value the negative because the x gets the negative so in the next video let's look at some examples and you'll see it's actually quite easy